Today is a big part of the vlog. It's a, a, a great addition to this. I was gonna live stream this, but I decided to just like go ahead and, and just do this off stream. So that way I didn't have people chiming in telling me like I was doing something wrong. So I'm gonna get in a call with one person that I know knows what they're doing and get this together. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, the stream machine is in. We love clean offices and setups and environments around us, don't we, chat? Mm, what an absolute just great way to start the day. Uh, I, I came in here, I was like, okay, look, there's some trash laying around. We got some things to move around. I have to prepare for these desk legs today, so I wanted to make sure as much stuff was out of the way. And I guess I didn't realize like how close to just having a nice clean work environment we were at. I actually just removed some tools, some boxes in here. And next thing you know, the whole room opened up and it just, it makes me feel better. So big suggestion, big tip to you guys and gals out there, maybe for your setup and workspace around you, it's not even about like, just like, it, it, like upgrading things, right? Maybe for you, it is also like cleaning things, decluttering, organizing stuff. Again, the whole journey of mine these last few weeks. And we are making very big progress on that for sure. Uh, weird week for me, I have the new launch of Call of Duty coming this weekend. Uh, I'm trying to introduce myself in streaming and whatnot, so I haven't really had that much time to, to like analyze what I wanna do with YouTube videos, but I don't wanna neglect you all. Don't worry, I'm not going to. Uh, I, I appreciate the support that we've been having. Like, dude, it is wild that we did a vlog the other day and you guys gave it the support you did. And to see how many people watched the whole thing, oh yeah, we're giving one of you guys a shout out in today's video for sure. But today I do wanna share with you these awesome $30 leg from Amazon. So the difference between something like this and just the typical kind of like leg posts that you can get from someplace like Ikea and even offline from Amazon, uh, if you're kind of like in a pinch, if you want something cheap and affordable, I would recommend legs like this first and foremost. They're metal, uh, steel, I believe, stainless steel. And as they go up, they spread out towards the top to give it a little bit more stability. How many of you guys and gals have a setup and you use just like the strict, sturdy legs for your setup, just like the straight up pulls? And how wobbly is your setup because of that? I'm not saying legs like this are going to cure that. The best way that you can have support across your desk to where it's not wobbly is giving it a lot more structure to connecting towards the ground, having multiple points of contact, but if you don't want legs that take up a lot of space and you still want the sturdiness, these are gonna be your better option because as they get towards the top, they spread out and cover a little bit more ground underneath the desk to give you just a little bit more stability and they are slanted legs as well. So it'll give you that angle, it's not a straight up and down. Again, spreading out, uh, uh, balancing your desk is what's gonna make for like a really stable desk. Uh, and they're only $30, like super cheap. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna replace that trussle I have under my desk uh, with these. And I have to somehow replace these with my whole entire setup on here. This should be interesting today. <laughs> By the way, not sponsored, not partnered, not collaborating with this company, me personally shopping through my Amazon addiction, uh, finding what I want for myself. Leg number one installed, looking good. New, uh, new floor mats for the charger. Ooh. So that's gotta go. Okay, that looks uh, a whole lot better. Oh, what an interesting day. Tonight, the new Call of Duty Midnight release comes out. Obviously, I'm getting prepared for that. 
So I'm trying to just like relax during the day because I don't typically stay up late. So it's gonna be tough for a boomer like me to, to stay up and, and play video games. <laughs> but with that being said, to kill time today, I did a little research and looking into the new consoles and yeah, I tried to snag a PlayStation 5 today. Once again, couldn't find them available and I wasn't gonna wait through a whole bunch of websites. Like I wanna get one, but I'm not that pressed to get one at this current point in time. But with that being said, the reality was hitting in for me. They're like, holy shit. I don't have a TV that can actually benefit me having a PlayStation 5. Also, let me know if I should make a whole entire separate video just talking fully on that because I think a lot of people out there don't understand the concept that these PlayStation 5s and these Xboxes are advertised to do things, not necessarily going to do them and to top it off, you have to have the other components to be able to run some of the features that these new consoles can run. So since the plan is to change this loft into like a, a casual, chill, entertainment, like gaming area, I figured I would kill some time today, head to Best Buy because I tried calling them to see if this TV was in stock, uh, but go and check out today a 4K 120 hertz TV for the loft. And get all my supplies for the game gaming experience for the weekend. I am about to nerd out. So Best Buy number one, good news, bad news. Bad news is they did not have the TV that I'm looking for and it's a specific one. They don't make too many 120 Hertz TVs that are able to pull 120 FPS on the new consoles. So you're kind of limited with that. But uh, I, I want one that is not too big, obviously, because we're going to be kind of closer. And obviously, I don't want to spend an arm and a leg on this as well. So a specific one. But the good news is they have it at another Best Buy that's like 10, 20 minutes away from here. And it's open box. I know some of you guys and gals may not be in open box, but I live for open box. I've never had a problem with open box. Most open box situations, there's actually no problem with the device. It's usually people splurge on something, they get it and realize that they just flat out can't afford it and bring it back right away. You would be surprised at least that it's how often that does happen. But I did a quick pit stop real quick to, to get some nutrients in, get a juice going. Since I'm gonna be spending a lot of time uh, playing video games this weekend, I gotta make sure I'm taking the health very serious. But let's go get this TV. First step to the new next setup, setup 2.55 like or something. All right, so I got the TV yesterday. We'll show you guys that in a second. Today is a big part of the vlog. It's a, a, a great addition to this. I was gonna live stream this, but I decided to just like go ahead and, and just do this off stream. So that way I didn't have people chiming in telling me like I was doing something wrong. So I'm gonna get in a call with one person that I know knows what they're doing and get this together. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, the stream machine is in. Okay, so real quick, I just wanted to kind of go over what's going in this machine and why. Explain just briefly a little bit of the features to this build and my goals from it. In this last year, we have grown so much as a content creator and streamer and one of my objectives has been quality. If I'm gonna take my content serious, put a lot of work into it, I want the quality to also represent my brand in itself with everything that I do. So this whole section of my setup is dedicated towards like a creative uh, gaming, streaming, real estate, right? So I needed a PC that could handle streaming, but also being able to edit, which that being the kind of like key feature, and then have like a good gaming experience. Nothing crazy, nothing above and beyond with this particular PC setup, just good, right? Just good quality gaming experience. So first and foremost, the, the structure. We are gonna be building this inside of an Asus off gaming case. The GT501 edition. The motherboard we're gonna be rocking is the Crosshair Hero. I've used a couple Asus motherboards now and I have nothing but awesome experiences with them. This is an AMD motherboard, so we're gonna be throwing a 3900X in this. I wanted to go AMD for the video editing uh, route in this situation, a lot of the, like, the creation workstation side. For the processing cooler, we're going Asus 
route. Oh, this thing looks sick. I'm not gonna lie. A good beefy Rogue Strix 850 watt power supply to uh to, to give everything some juice that it needs. As of right now, two 16 gig RAM sticks to throw in there and a 970 EVO Plus for my M.2. And then finally for the GPU, a clutch little powerhouse, the 1660 Super from, uh, from Asus. So again, with this creative focused with a little gaming edge involved into the build as well. Something that looks good, feels good and, and plays good. And then with the loft update, this is the TV that we ended up getting. I ended up snagging the LG NanoCell AI ThinQ. I apologize for the mess. I've been kind of treating this as my, my little uh, man cave area. Put a couple extra lights back there for right now. One's unplugged. What's good about this TV is it's 4K. It's 120 Hertz. Um, lots of amazing features overall. Got a sound bar as well. Again, messy place. Don't judge me on that. But the loft setup is making big progress. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. It would not be a biggie vlog if I didn't change the, the course of direction 15 times. Um, again, this last few weeks has been all about like organizing and decluttering and getting what I know I need to do done. And what I was going to do with these PC builds once I got the, the PC build that I just got in today from Asus, as I was starting to unbox it and put it together, the overall like pressure of, of knowing that like I'm putting all this new gear in a new machine that is going to be my stream PC while my my current gaming rig, the thing that I do everything on, uh, needs some updates. And I should transfer some drives to organize because I have two creative SSD drives in my computer. I was like, I know I should put those in the creative rig because it would only make sense to declutter and organize. And I, I stepped up and I freaking have been spending all night and morning basically building two machines, not one, but two machines. So what we're doing now is the tough gaming Asus case that they sent. I am putting all of my gaming gear in that. And then over here in uh, my old case, that's where I put the stream machine. So, so far, all I got to do in both these builds is put all the power cables in and plug the hard drives and then get uh, windows installed and updated. But also look how it's it's been a long night. It's been a very wild evening to say the less, um, but I got a good night's sleep. And now once I get these done and I clean up the room and everything's set up this evening, I have like literally everything in this office, like in the back of my mind, there's no like, ah, well, maybe I should have like cleaned this and organized this while everything, like I, I'm getting it done. We're, we're, we're making the decisions now to do the things we need to do. I have the opportunity to do this stuff. So we're gonna heck and do it and get it out of the way. Now, I just realized too, like I just got up and started recording. So sorry for bedhead, but dual PC streaming tonight. Let's go. <sighs> wow, has it been uh, a, a weekend. There's a certain sense of like under appreciation, I think that I, I'll never be able to give you guys with the vlogs in terms of like, uh, you know, and just a, a few days of recording some things, how much has happened in here. Like I can show you those things, but I can't actually like put you in the perspective of like, wow, I can't believe we did all of this. And I am just absolutely pooped right now. Uh, good thing is we got the new G Fuel flavor in right now. So a perfect time to try this because I am beat. I know you'll want to try this too there, big dog. Absolutely. What'd you say everybody said it tastes like? Oh, I don't know. I just said based on the lemons and blueberries I said, I really hope it's like blueberry lemonade. I, I, I thought it was like one of their like could this be a product? And then it came in the mail and I was like, oh shit, that was real. <laughs> I, I know, Mike's like, hey, you got a new flavor coming. I'm like, wait, what? There's there's a new flavor and, yeah. and here it is.
right, moment of truth. I knew you were excited about it, so why don't, I get the first why don't sip? you, for the first time ever, get the first sip? It's, it's no, not, said, uh, usually the good pop. Mmm, this smells good. It reminds me of definitely lemonade. I would have liked more powder for more punch in the mouth. Oh, come on! That's why I do the reviews, <laughs> because you are always negative. Let's give I her a try. Like a lot of powder. Taste test, or smell test. Smell test is good instantly. It is good. It I mean, it's it's clear, like a blueberry lemonade. It would be bomb with two scoops of that. Oh wow, that's really good. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Like, add a little too bad, too bad summer's it. over. I know. I was gonna say it's like if there's two scoops in there, it would even make your mouth pucker like lemonade. Yeah. Mm. That's what I was saying. Two scoops. It's very, very refreshing. Spot Absolutely. on. 100%. Code Big E at checkout. 30% off today. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. How does the loft look now? I got it all cleaned. You guys doubted me and, and I prevailed. I came across and I'm actually downloading Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War on the PlayStation right now. We have some cables coming in today to kind of like set some things off. But uh, dude, little, uh, little man cave is looking good. This desktop will be going over there uh, in the next few days as well. Okay, finally, the vlog is, is coming to an end today. I'm sorry for the long one. Um, I just really wanted to prepare for the launch of Call of Duty this week and everything else that I got going on that I, I, I just, I needed to just take one whole week to just vlog and get a lot of things done. But obviously, as you see from the start of the video till now, we've made some huge progression. So like, I'm feeling like very fulfilled. It's Sunday right now and I feel like my job is done here. Yo, homie, can I? It's actually a new package. Amazon's here right now and they're, they're bumping to some music. But yeah, gang, it's just, it's been such a, a, a great long journey and I'm finally getting this sense of feeling of, of just like really being blessed, fulfilled, um, you know, wanting to work harder and harder and harder to create more content, connect with you guys and gals. And now we have the dual stream set up to do so to create more content, which by the way, it's up and running. Everything is is going for the most part smoothly. I have some issues with the new motherboard. It's not updating USBs properly. So when I plug in my audio USB interface, the PreSonos audio box, I'm getting like a weird crackle on certain USB channels and some USB ports, it's not even showing up whatsoever. Other than that, everything is like full sailing forward, set up, ready to go. Um, like what a life, man, what a life to live. Uh, it's 100% because of you guys and gals uh, supporting my content, pushing me forward, wanting me to chase everything that I do. Uh, we would not be here without you guys all. So I want you to know that I am grateful. So now is the time of the video where we give the shout out. Basically, if you guys didn't watch the last video, I was curious who watches all the way through. And from now on, I wanna kinda of give those people shout outs. So I asked everybody to type Team 100 in the comments for a shout out. Big shout out to Jayhawk, even though him and Rob and a couple others are all about this seltzer stuff, so that's why he commented that. Which, get a real drink, pussy. I wanted to shout him out because he's a fellow creator, friend of mine in the community. Uh, over the last couple years, I've really tried to put myself around other like-minded people that were just as hungry as me with some like grit work ethic as well. Like Big Rob Energy you guys have seen around the channels and content. I, I just love surrounding myself around people that want this as bad as I do. And don't use excuses and put a full fourth effort into what we do. Jayhawk is one of those people. Make sure you guys go check him out. Link is in the description. If you guys want a shout out in the next video, all I need you to do is type Truly's suck in the comments down below. I'm gonna pick one of you lucky people and shout you out. Sorry, Jayhawk. Sorry, Rob. The seltzers are ass. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out. Peace. Dual stream life. Let's go. Yeah.